documents that we had opened here. And everything's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. And let's say I want this text to be a different font. Well, in the uh, actual elements of this area, what would be the best bet is to click on that area, which is our main content, and we can go and add a property to it, which would be font family. And we could choose it to, let's say, Arial. And it picks up on the arrow. But the entire uh, area is going to use it. You'll notice our headings change too. And if we don't want our headings to change, let me undo the attribute, what we could do is select our text, paragraphs, our paragraph, and we could change it to Arial there. And our main content will stay the same. See? And what it, this is going to do, it's going to give us a new style, three. But I'm going to edit, undo that. That's why, you know, sitting down and trying to figure out what you want your site to be like, what, co what font you want to use, what colors you want to use, what sizes do you want to use, what's your placement going to be like. These are things that you really should consider. Um, now, another thing in Dreamweaver, if I was to go in and I was going to start changing a few things, um, let's say I wanted this to uh, be um, orange, this word, orange, and you're going to notice now that we have another style, three, and I want this word to be um, another orange color. It's going to give us a new style, four. It's pretty cool how Dreamweaver does these things for us. So if we go and look in the code, you'll see that this specific word is uh, spanning the style for our open for the span for style for and our close. Now, we could go up into the code view and you can see Dreamweaver puts it up into our um, CSS code that we you know have a new color style which is for and it automatically puts it in there for you. Now let's say we want to um, change our link colors. So we could go and let's practice this right now. I want to make this word a link. So I'm going to highlight the link. And I need to close this up so you could see it. I'm going to highlight the link and I'm going to give this, um, I'm just going to give it the, the basic here. Uh, well, actually, I shouldn't to confuse you. So we'll just make this link.html. That's going to go to a page called link and I want to open it up within my website. So now Dreamweaver is going to give us the blue link color. Obviously this blue link co color doesn't look good on our page. So it's using the default colors for links. How could we change that? The best way to do that is to go to Modify, Page Properties, click on the links, and then it's going to say what kind of font do you want to use for your uh, links. I suggest you use the same as the page font because what happens is if you use something smaller, people are going to roll over it and your, your text kind of jumps around, which isn't very professional looking. Leave the size alone, but I would change the link color up a little bit where, um, you know, so it stands out just a little bit more for people when they're, when they're visiting your website. So let's say we pick this color. Now we want the rollover link to kind of stand out a little bit for these people so that they, you know, they know it's an actual link. So let's give them eh, the orange color. Visited links, I prefer to leave my visited links the link color and my active links to have my rollover color. And if you don't want to turn on, uh, if you want your links underlined, you choose always underline or you don't want them on, never underline or show underline on a rollover. I prefer and I suggest leaving always underlined because that is what people look for, text that has underlines. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply, hit OK. Now you can clearly see that our links have the green color. I'm going to file, save this, and I'm going to go preview it so we can see the rollover. The rollover is working. So, so far things are looking pretty good. So now here comes the fun part. Um, we want to add a spry menu. 
and where we want to add that spry menu. Well, we can add an add spry menu so that it opens up um, here, going you know with the horizon of the page, or we can add one here, going vertical with the page. Well, if we add one that goes with the horizon of the page and we have some drop-down boxes, it's going to cover up the main content word, um, or we can add some spaces, but not too much. There really isn't a true way with, with this uh, uh, specific way I'm doing this to keep that from happening. But what I want to do uh, is I want to add my spry menu. I want it to go up and down and I'm going to add it to the sidebar. So what I need to do is, is I need to make some room for that before I go and do it. Um, so if I put my cursor here uh, next to sidebar one content, what's going to happen is it's going to put the spry bar in, but it's not going to give me a decent break between the two, like a decent space. So what I could do is I could actually hit my Enter key twice and then put my uh, cursor back up there. But there's a problem with this, which I don't like. If you go back to code view, you're going to notice what happened now was Dreamweaver gave us some two spaces called with a he heading three with a style class of one. I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to hit undo new paragraph, undo new paragraph. This is the safe way to do it. Go back to code view right after, or well, we're, in this case, we want to go inside the sidebar, but before that, um, uh, heading there, what we want to do is we want to type in break. You can give it a break. I don't recommend doing, um, you know, five breaks. You know, you can set that up within the CSS code, but two breaks is going to work okay. So what you'll do is you make those two breaks, then put your cursor into right before the breaks and go to the design view. Now we're going to go to the spry menu in Dreamweaver and locate, which is right here, Spry Menu Bar. Click on Spry Menu Bar. And <clears throat> I said that I wanted to use a vertical menu bar, not the horizontal. I want to use a vertical. Click Vertical and hit OK. What's going to happen is the Streamweaver is going to build that bar for you. And it's also built, while we're, while we're editing the properties of this Spry Menu Bar, it's going to build um, it's CSS files and it's JavaScript files, which we were um, told before and earlier in the tutorial that it was going to save within our website. So obviously we just made this nice little website here and these buttons for the Spry menu just, it, it, it doesn't look proper with this website. You know, you could actually get very, you know, um, but what just happens here is when you add a Spry menu, immediately it's going to show the properties for this menu bar and it's going to show you item one if you click on item one that's the text there we don't want the word text we don't want item there for the one for the text there so if i click on item one highlight of blue over here in the text is where i add it i could name this home and you'll see home is showing there home will be index.html the title. This is very nice. I enjoy this part with Sprite, I mean uh, Spry, is that you can add a title. It's kind of like, a, you know how you add alt tags to your images? Well, you can add a title tag to your links and it's so much easier that way. Dreamweaver doesn't, it doesn't have a spot for you to add a title tag to your uh, regular standard, uh, standard links, which I think this is a really nice feature. So um, let's say this is um, Dreamweaver Tutorials homepage. Now I add that title bar in there, that title, which is going to show up in the code, um, and my uh, robots that come through will read that title, and it will say it will see Dreamweaver Tutorials uh, website or something. So that kind of votes my website for being a Dreamweaver Tutorial website. The target means what do you want that link to open in? Do you want that link to open up a new page or do you want it to open up in the same page? What do you want? I suggest you type in top. It will open up in your own website. Now, the next layer over is item one. When somebody clicks on this carrot, it's going to bring them to this, see? Item one. Well, I want this to be about 